All right, let's look at these two situations. This is a linear situation. It's following an arithmetic sequence. This is what we dealt with in chapter three. If you did not deal with this in chapter three, I told you it's one of the most important topics in algebra one. Can I take a table or a graph and write an equation from it? Moving on to chapter five. This is a exponential equation. It's following a geometric sequence. And I'm going to show you how the processes for writing an equation for these two are very similar. In situation number one, I ask the question, what are we counting by? We're counting by sevens, plus seven every time. That's my change from one term to the next. I start my equation. My equation is in this format. Y equals the slope times x plus some adjustment. This thing I was counting by, that's my slope. So now I have y equals 7 times x plus an adjustment, plus my y-intercept. In order to find this y-intercept, one way that I can do it is I can take a point that I already know the x and the y value for, 9 equals x when 50 equals y. 50 equals y when 9 equals x. And then I just figure out what that, what that letter B needs to be so that this will be true. All right, 6 times 7, or 6, 7 times 9 is 63. That does not equal 50, but... If I subtract 13 from it, it will make that, that situation true. 63 minus 13 is 50. So, my equation, y equals 7x plus negative 13, or minus 13. That is writing a linear equation. What am I counting by? Times x insert values for x and y that are in my table to solve for what letter b makes this true then i could use this to find anything in the whole table 7 times 37 minus 13 246 is what y equals when x is 37. I, could also, I can also check my formula if I'm not sure. Uh, 7 times 5 minus 13. Make sure that it gives me the 22 that it's supposed to. Or 7 times 7 minus 13. Make sure it gives me the 36 that it's supposed to. Okay. Now, that's old news. But if you didn't handle that topic yet, right, you're always welcome to repractice and requiz. Let's look at this guy. Very similar. This time we have a geometric sequence. I'm not adding by the same amount each time. I'm multiplying by the same amount each time. So if I do 3645 divided by 1215, that gives me the number 3. All right? That tells me that. My repeated multiplication is times 3. General formula at the Algebra 1 level for an exponential is y equals some number times a base to an exponent. Base gets repeatedly multiplied. 
look like this, right? Repeatedly multiplied. So this 3 is going to replace B. Kind of like that 7 replaced M. 7 times X. Repeated addition is multiplication. Repeated multiplication gives us an exponent. So we have now y equals sum a number times 3 to the x power. How am I going to find out what that number is? Same way I did over here. Pick a point. Any point. I like this one because it's got the smallest numbers in it. When x equals 5, y equals 405. When x equals 5, y equals 405. Do my math. Alright, 3 to the 5th power It's 243. A times 243 is 405. Divide both parts by 243. A equals 1.6 repeating. Maybe I'll put a squiggly line. All right, that means my formula for this, now I know what A is, is going to be Y equals 1.667 times 3 to the x power. That's the formula. And then I can use it to find any of these things. Now, I'm going to be a little bit off because I round it. Okay, but no problems. If I wanted to check, does this really work? Let me try it with x equals 8. 1.667 times 3 to the 8th power. 10,935 is what I'm supposed to have. 10,937 is what I get with my rounded answer. Okay, it's close. If I want to find out what X value will give me an output, a Y value of 500,000, your Algebra 2 teacher will teach you about logarithms, which is what you're going to need to use to to answer that question algebraically. For me, you're just going to guess and check. So 1.667 times 3 to the 20th is way too big. So I know the number is less than 20. Uh, tenth is 98,000 something. I want it to be a little bit bigger than that. So maybe a to the 11th power. We're at 200,000 something. 12th power. We're at 800,000. So I know that somewhere between 11 and 12 is my question mark. And that's close enough for me.